Uveal melanoma is the most common cancer observed in the adult eye, with diagnosis most prevalent in ages between 50 and 70 years. In Europe, there is an increasing incidence rate geographically from south to north. Some uveal melanoma patients experience no eye symptoms. Others self-identify a problem in one eye, and some cases are uncovered during routine visits to the optician. Symptoms can include blurred vision, flashes, floaters, visual field loss, and distorted vision, which may cause pain or headaches. Dilation of the eye by an eye specialist can enable visualization and diagnosis of uveal melanoma. Uveal melanoma should not be confused with cutaneous melanoma, also referred to as skin cancer, which has different disease course, root causes, and treatment options. The precise cause of uveal melanoma is unknown. However, risk factors include lighter eye color, fairer skin, and the inability to tan. Ultraviolet radiation has been linked to the development of a small subset of uveal melanomas originating in the iris. Uveal melanoma commonly develops from the abnormal growth of melanocytes, melanin-containing cells lining the inside of the eye. Uveal melanoma develops in the uveal tract, the middle layer of the eye. The uveal tract is composed of the iris, the colored part of the eye that controls pupil size, the ciliary body, an extension of the iris that controls lens shape, and the choroid, a blood vessel rich layer that nourishes the inner eye. Choroidal melanoma is the most common type of uveal melanoma, followed by melanoma of the ciliary body and iris. Uveal melanoma is classified into four groups according to changes present in chromosomes and regions of DNA within, known as genes. Each group has different levels of risk of the disease spreading to other organs. Defects in chromosomes 1, 3, 6 and 8 and changes or mutations in the DNA sequence of genes such as GNAQ, GNA11 and BAP1 are linked to uveal melanoma. Changes in these genes can lead to the growth and development of uveal melanoma or can cause uveal melanoma to spread outside of the eye. For example, loss of one copy of chromosome 3 is associated with increased risk of metastatic disease. Uveal melanoma can spread to other organs of the body, becoming a metastatic disease in approximately 50% of patients. Uveal melanoma most frequently spreads to the liver, but it can also spread to the skin, lung, soft tissue, and bone. Once the tumor has metastasized, the survival prognosis of patients is relatively poor. The most common treatments for primary uveal melanoma include radiation therapy, laser therapy, and sometimes surgical removal of the eye. Radiation and laser therapy aim to shrink or kill the cancer using intense energy or focused light. Usually, treatments of tumors confined to the eye are successful. A biopsy of the tumor can help determine the class and course of disease. If the cancer spreads to the liver, the tumor may be removed surgically, or patients may receive liver-directed treatments, such as percutaneous hepatic perfusion. Despite increased understanding of the causes of uveal melanoma, there remains a crucial need for more effective treatments. The inclusion of uveal melanoma patient tumor samples from the eye and liver into research studies is invaluable. These samples help to create additional models of the disease which help to broaden our understanding and to develop patient-specific therapies for the treatment of primary and metastatic uveal melanoma. As uveal melanoma is a rare disease, it is vital that clinicians, patients and patient advocates, scientists, pharmaceutical companies and governments collaborate nationally and internationally to improve diagnosis, enhance treatment options and increase accessibility of clinical trials to patients.